Hey guys, in this video we're going to be estimating the order of magnitude of various numbers. Okay, so here we go. Estimate the order of magnitude, also known as power of 10, of A, 2900, B, 76.30 times 10 to the 2, C, 0 0.0063, and D, 14.0 times 10 to the 8. So, getting started with A, there's a few things that you want to take a look at here. Okay, so let me do this for a second. Okay. First thing you want to do is rewrite it in scientific notation. Okay, so you can write that as 2.9 times 10 to the 3. And you want to really look at that first number because order of magnitude comes down to this. You see how you've got a 10 to the 3 there? That's the order of magnitude. Okay, so whether it's 10 to the 3 or 10 to the 2 or 10 to the 7, like that tells you the factor or the scale at which how big that number is. Okay, so in this case, you might say, oh, it's already given to us, it's 10 to the 3. But in fact, there's technically two boundaries for every number. And in this case, this number is either closer to 1 times 10 to the 3 or 10 times 10 to the 3. Because 10 times 10 to the 3 is actually 1 times 10 to the 4. Okay? 1 times 10 to the 4. So that's pretty much what you're asking yourself. But it's easier to see it like this because they're all 10 to the 3. You've got a 1 and a 10. Obviously, 2.9 is much closer to 1 than it is to 10. Therefore, it's closer to 1 times 10 to the 3, giving it an order of magnitude of 10 to the 3. Okay, so I hope that part made sense. If not, we're going to do another example right now just to help it sink in a bit. Okay, so part B, 76.30 times 10 to the 2. Now, you might be saying, well, it's already given to us in scientific notation. But remember that the first number here should be between 1 and 10, not equaling 10. Okay, so rewriting that, we're going to get 7.630 times 10 to the 3. Okay, you move the decimal place one to the left, so it's got to move one more place to get back to where it needs to be. Okay, so now we're going to look at boundaries again. This is also 10 to the 3, so we're going to use the same boundaries. Uh, we're going to use 1 times 10 to the 3 and 10 times 10 to the 3. Okay, so let me just fill in those 3's there. Okay. In this case, 7.6 is closer to 10 than it is closer to 1. Okay, so 10 times 10 to the 3 is the boundary that we're going to be looking at. But 10 times 10 to the 3 is equal, same thing as 1 times 10 to the 4. Okay, so therefore, the order of magnitude of this question is actually... 10 to the 4. Okay. All right, so hopefully this is uh, making a bit more sense at this point. <laughs> so moving on to part C, we've got 0 0.0063. Let's write that in scientific notation first. 6.3. If you put a, um, a decimal there, you have to move it 1, 2, 3 times to get to where it is. And you're going in the left direction, therefore making it 6.3 times 10 to the minus 3, okay? So we're dealing with the order of minus 3. So again, you're taking a look at that number in the front. So let's look at the two boundaries, okay? Okay, so we want to see, is it closer to 1 times 10 to the minus 3 or 10 times 10 to the minus 3, right? Because those are the two edges, okay? 6.3 is closer to 10, Okay, times 10 to the minus 3, but check this out, okay? This is going in the negative direction, right? We have really small numbers. In this case, when we had 10 times 10 to the minus 3, we actually increased uh, this factor here by 1. Okay, so it went from 3 to 4. But in this case, 10 times 10 to the minus 3 makes the number bigger. And by making the number bigger, a negative exponent should get, well, less negative. Okay. So in this case, this becomes 1 times 10 to the minus 2. Therefore, 10 to the minus 2 is the order of magnitude for this problem. <coughs> and finally, we come to 14.0 times 10 to the 8. Same thing as the previous ones. Write it with the first number between 1 and 10, not including 10. So you get 1.40 times 10 to the 9. Okay, taking a look at that first number there, we want to ask ourselves which boundary is it closer to? Okay, is it closer to 1 times 10 to the 9 or 10 times 10 to the 9? 
Okay, so 1.4 is closer to 1 than it is close to 10. Okay, so 1 times 10 to the 9 gives it an order of magnitude of 10 to the 9. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give that like button a click. Subscribe to this channel so that you never miss a video from me. And thank you so much for watching.